Good morning everyone I am Vishakha Thakur welcome to 3.0 TV here are the news headlines Cryptocurrency trade flat ahead of Ethereum merge but coin stays above $20000 ED probes another crypto firm with ties to Chinese loan apps Maharashtra to use blockchain to revamp new land documents SEC chair Gensler sticks to crypto position ahead of formal Senate testimony. US Treasury blacklists Bitcoin addresses allegedly tied to Iran ransomware attacks. Sam Bankman-Fried led FTX mulling fundraise for acquisitions. Tesla launches new cyber whistle that can only be bought using Dogecoin. SEC sues Chicago Crypto Capital employees for illegally selling BXY tokens. NFT platform Rentable shuts down on lack of funds traction. Cryptocurrencies traded flat taking cues from marginally higher closing of US stocks amid caution ahead of the historic Ethereum merge event set for some time later Thursday. Bitcoin traded above $20,100. US stocks posted modest gains in overnight trades with the Dow Jones Industrial Average inching up 0.10% at close. The S&P 500 added 0.34% while the Nasdaq rose 0.74%. Investors continue to remain wary of the Federal Reserve's rate stance after retail inflation in August surged past consensus estimates. On Thursday, data showed that the US producer price index for August fell on both an annual and month-to-month -month basis, pointing to likely softening in retail inflation later in the year. Annual PPI declined to 8.7% versus expectations of 8.9%, while monthly PPI showed a 0.1% decrease in prices versus expectations of a 0.1% increase. Bitcoin was recently trading around $20,150, down 0.5% in the past 24 hours. ETH, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded around $1,620, up over 2% in a similar time span ahead of the merge. We'll see the Ethereum network transition from proof of work to proof of stake protocol. Several analysts were speculating over Twitter that the coin was set for a drop after the event. All other major altcoins traded mixed, with the cryptocurrency market capitalization continuing to hover below $1 trillion. The Directorate of Enforcement has conducted searches at offices of crypto firm HPZ Token because of its alleged links to Chinese loan apps. According to sources, the probe was under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Searches by the ED have been conducted at 16 places so far. ROC Hyderabad had registered a case against HPZ Token earlier this year. Under a scheme by HPZ Token, promoters collected crores of rupees claiming that the funds would be used to mine cryptocurrencies, but they did not follow through. It is worth noting that several other cryptocurrency firms, especially crypto exchanges like CoinDCX, CoinSwitch Kuber, Wazirx and others have been probed by the ED under PMLA. But Ashish Singhal, co-founder of CoinSwitch Kuber, denied that the investigation was due to money laundering. The Indian state of Maharashtra will use blockchain technology to revamp documents of new land properties in the region. Their main motive for using the technology is to increase trust among the industry participants and reduce fraud cases. Shravan Hardikar, Maharashtra's Inspector General of the Department of Registration and Stamps, announced at a conference that they have already started to adopt distributed ledger technology for property registration in their region, which can be helpful for them. Hardikar said that the blockchain pilot has already started with the bank and other different mortgage companies, which includes many famous associations. He added that these organizations are being made aware of the e-registration documents as several questions were raised about online documents not having any stamp or signature. United States Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler reiterated his stance that most cryptocurrencies are securities and must be registered with the regulator in some capacity. His comments were part of a document before a personal appearance before the US Senate Committee on Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs later today, reports said. 
Gensler said that crypto intermediaries may need to one day register with both the SEC and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and that there are already dual registrants. The US Treasury Department added nine individuals and six Bitcoin addresses to its blacklist on 14 September under its cyber-related designations bucket. The addresses were specifically connected to two people, Amir Hossein, Nikayan Ravari and Ahmad Khatibi Aghada, who are accused of participating in the creation and distribution of ransomware while serving in Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. According to a press release from Treasury officials, the individuals are a part of a hacker group that used ransomware to target hospitals, transportation companies and schools. The Justice Department asserted that the individuals broke into hundreds of American businesses and spread ransomware to a number of them, including American infrastructure entities. US government officials accused three people of crimes related to hacking as they announced the sanctions. Sam Bankman-Fried led cryptocurrency exchange FTX is raising capital to fund a potential acquisition, Coindesk reported citing a person familiar with the matter. FTX founder Bankman-Fried is eyeing the same valuation of $32 billion it was assigned earlier this year during a round of capital raise despite the recent rout in crypto markets. FTX is evaluating several possible takeover candidates including retail trading platforms. The fundraising plans may be scrapped if acquisition talks fall through. Electronic vehicle manufacturer Tesla is rolling out a new cyber whistle inspired by its futuristic cyber proxies. The limited edition cyber whistle is a premium collectible made from medical grade stainless steel with a polished finish. The whistle includes an integrated attachment feature for added versatility. All sales are final and products are expected to ship within four to six weeks. On top of that, Tesla requires buyers to pay only in Dogecoin. The price tag is 1000 Doge or around $60. Taxes and shipping are included in the Doge price. Elon Musk, Tesla CEO, has been a prominent supporter of the meme currency, claiming last year that Dogecoin is better than Bitcoin for payments. The US Securities and Exchange Commission on Wednesday sued a Chicago-based crypto investments company and three employees for allegedly selling $1.5 million in cryptocurrencies that were not registered with the investments regulator. Chicago crypto capital owner Brian Amo and salesman Darkers Oliver Young and Albert Elliott sold cryptos called BXY tokens to 100 investors, many of whom had no prior crypto experience from August 2018 to September 2019, according to the complaint. They misled those investors about how they were handling the token, the complaint said. The SEC accused the group of acting as unregistered brokers and fraudsters in violation of U.S. securities law. It is seeking to bar them from offering crypto securities. Rentable, a non-fungible token renting platform, said it was shutting down after failing to find investors to back the project and also product market fit. The project's founder, Emiliano Bonassi, in a blog post and over social media platform Twitter announced the shutdown of the project. Users will be able to continue to withdraw their JPEGs until October 13, though the platform has disabled rentals. Rentable, launched in October last year, was aimed at customers seeking to rent out NFTs that would otherwise sit in wallets. In June 2022, the protocol offered its services to Decentraland users, MeBits holders and the Lobster DAO. That's all in the bulletin today. This is me, Vishaka, signing off. And for more such updates, keep watching 3.0 TV.